Hello and welcome to Nothing Definitive. My name is Sam, and this is a journal entry for May 4th, 2014. So one of the problems I'm mulling over is whether improved working memory, aka active memory or short-term memory or the magical number 7 plus or minus 2, will actually shape how you perceive reality. I think intuit intuitively it would, because if you generally only store say five memories, whereas another person stores seven, which supposedly is the average, and another stores nine, then the patterns you'll recognize or not recognize will be different. So say there are nine pieces of observational evidence that culminate in a full understanding of some event that just took place and all of you witnessed. Won't the five and the seven person not have the full picture? At least not at first. They'll recognize the five and seven most obvious things, but leave out two and four pieces respectively. Now, they might get that information later and store the entire picture in their long-term memory, but what if they don't follow up or they forget something? The person with nine will be able to grasp the full picture immediately and store the entire pattern to long-term memory. I mean, um, I'm sure they're capable of forgetting and mixing things up as well, but from a probabilistic point of view, they will more often see a clearer picture of reality than the other two. And the five and seven people run the risk of runaway assumptions and bad judgment over time without seeing the full picture and not following up 100% of the time. They'll form incomplete pictures of reality that will shape uh, into a more general assumption about how the world works rather than how it actually works. Of course, each scenario is also contingent on what they know. The nine memory person might not have any reference and be unable to properly decode it, whereas the five memory person can. But the point is, is that once the nine memory person has a level of understanding, he'll be able to decode it faster and potentially further than the five memory person. I don't know if this is actually real or how it works. I'm just sharing an idea I had when considering improving my own working memory. Unfortunately, it looks like brain games aren't necessarily that helpful from a few articles I read. They said like the, the training doesn't really transfer over from one task to the other. Um, and actually it seems like it might not be that useful in the long term anyway. Um, because if you specialize in something, you'll grow to be an expert regardless. Um, this would be more useful in the context of properly decoding situations more regularly with more accuracy, um, recognizing patterns as they form, which would be good for like strategy, social strategy, that sort of stuff. Um, probably also for dangers and things like that. Um, having a clear picture of how things work um, in the physical world, in society, all that sort of thing. Understanding abstract and con complex concepts faster if you can store um, portions of a, com a complex subject without forgetting those portions and then you can put it all together, you probably have a better chance of understanding it than someone who learns portions but then can't really keep them in their head so they have to go back and they basically are just like slowly integrating it into their long-term memory until their pattern fully forms. Um, I mean these are all useful things but aren't necessarily required to accomplish your dreams. Um, just something to think about. I mean it's it's probably really useful to improve your working memory but they, they one of, some of the articles I read too said they don't know if it's even possible like the working memory you have might just be what you have um, so brain games and stuff might not benefit you all that much. And I guess it would be a trade-off, right? Like, what if you spend, you know, five hours a week doing brain games, whereas you could have just pursued your dreams and pushed yourself forward within your industry for those five hours? I mean, which one's more useful in the end? Um, so yeah, just something to consider. Thanks for listening. See you next time.